Good morning, guys. So, after playing pretty much all week, I didn't record every single Mario Party 10 gameplay that I did. Of course, I gotta get some free time, you know? YouTube is a drug, but you gotta get some free time to get your brain back together. Um, Mario Party 10. People have been asking me to do a review. Should I buy it? Should I not buy it? I, uh, most likely haven't been a Mario Party fan since the good old days on the 64. Those were my favorites back then. Uh, I'll try to do this as honestly as possible, straightforward. No edit, no take backs. I'm going one shot with this. Um, I've been unhappy about the whole fact that there's no online. We're all mad about that, but it's called Mario Party. Now, I got my family to play with me. Now that's a party. That's why it's called Mario Party. Uh, the whole point is having your family together, having the experience of everybody being there with you, I think that's the point of why the game has no online. I think I got what Nintendo's vibe is feeling and they want to keep it as a party. So, hands off, uh, in-house, when you got a group of five, Five people, very awesome, very, very good, elaborate times. I had a blast. Uh, I would say that the Bowser, the Bowser uh, party mode is fun, but it gets kind of boring after a while because there's not a lot of mini games. Uh, maybe I have to unlock more stuff, but I think I pretty much unlocked a lot of stuff. Um, and the... Uh, the regular, the regular Mario Party is what kicks uh, the game back into place. It gives it a higher score. Uh, playing the Mario Party, all the different levels. The unlockables are cool also. You, you don't have much characters yet. Maybe you'll get more, but unlocking this, th those different spaceships and bonuses and stuff. Uh, I would say having different boards is cool. Different boards having different maps. Uh, I played the Chaos Castle, all these different like boards and games. There's like five, six, five or six different boards. I consider them like different games also. So that's a pointer. There's a lot of replay value for me. I love it. Playing with the family is awesome. Even that's the, that's the funny part. Even if you're on your own, it's like the first Mario Party. I enjoy playing on my own also. And it always gets so challenging. I'll try to put the, I unlock a, in the unlockable, I unlock a CPU mode to make them like in master mode. So they're really tough. So the challenge is there. The game is good. Other point is, I, I can't forget. I can't forget. The, uh, the downside, the downside of this game, the amiibo features. Again, that's the only part I want to complain about is they don't do much. Uh, I was hoping for something a little bit extra. I don't, I can't put my mind to it or on it. I just, I wish it had more features for the Amiibo. It's cool to drop them down. The Amiibo game is fun, kind of short, but it revolves around the Mario Bowser Party ones. And when you put one on the base, it ships, it, 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 it switch one part of the board to the character of that board on the board. Anyways, it's not it's not enough. And keeping one token inside. And the whole the other thing that really bugs me is when you take people from Smash Brothers, you have to delete your whole character to put in Mario Party. That's that's my only down point. I was hyping up about amiibo features. Maybe put more amiibo features. Well it's Mario Party, but still we're we're buying these figures and they still don't do that much, but they're cool to collect. I gotta give them that. But overall, uh, gameplay and everything, it's, it's about the game. It's not about the Amiibos. That's the only down point I could give this game is it can't really resolve or revolve around my score I'm gonna give, but uh, overall, gameplay together, family togetherness. If you want a family game, get the family together, you know? punch your kid in the back of the head and you know all good family times it's just a really good party game to have I, I can imagine maybe having a new year's eve party with that i just don't get together 
must be awesome. Uh, overall, great game, great game. Love to play on my own, love to play on my family. A lot of hours of gameplay. I don't know about the replay value, but I'm playing, I've been playing all this week since they came out, and uh, I can't put it down, honestly. It's very fun. So, overall, overall, would I say it's a must-buy? If you like that type of game, the board games, all the mini games that included are in here are kind of epic and unique. Some of them are really fun, and some of them are like, meh, but a lot of them are good. So, if I had to put a number on this, I want to give it a 9, but people are going to be, oh, it's too overrated. I'll give it an 8 at least, but not a 7. At least an 8. 8.5. 8.5 on 10 for me. So, yeah, if you're a Mario fan, for sure. Mario Party, I think it's back there. Back from the 64 days. At least. Uh, 64 was hard to beat, though. So, guys, thanks for watching. I think it's a must-buy. You got to try it. Rent it, at least. And let me know. Comment box down below if you do enjoy this game. Um, I'd like to hear, get some feedback from you. What, what would you uh, put some downer points on this? Uh, the boss battles, too. All oh, the boss battles are epic. I got to do that. Yeah. Eight, eight. Just thinking about the boss battle. 8.5 on 10. Thank you so much. I hope it helped you out. Like I said, no edit, straightforward, one shot. Uh, if, I, if it would really was bad, I would tell you right off the bat. You know, I think the people that maybe the big reviewers, I, I just wondering if they only played, if you only play the Bowser Party mode, uh, you're not experiencing the full power of this game. So, cut this short. Goodbye. Love you all. See you soon.